guys welcome back to my channel and I guess what today we're going to be talking about how to start the cash envelope system for 2022 for budgeting just for beginners okay so these are just going to be some little tips of how you can start the cash envelope system what the cash envelope system is so just to give you a little run and start if you're just starting budgeting or if you already do budgeting right if you already do it I had to find those words okay so first things first guys my name is Tina I am a cash budgeter and I do a lot of budgeting videos on my channel and then also do like reviews of things and then also planner things and then other things too so all the things how about that all right so if you have not already joined the family please make sure to join the family to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos and then also please make sure to comment if you have any ideas suggestions or questions please make sure to put them in the comments because I do like to um, see you guys interaction all right so without further ado guys let's go ahead hop in and get started. all right so I'm just gonna write this on my iPad this is just a sheet that I just picked so I'm not even sure how many blocks we will use but we will go through this um, and this is just a note writer this is what the app is called on my iPad it's totally free um, they do have it where you can upgrade it but I have been using it for the free version for the longest time and it's been doing pretty good and I'm actually impressed with it okay all right so the first thing we need to figure out what is a let me tap this because I always miss that okay so the first thing you want to make sure that cash you know. envelope system is all right so the cash envelope system is just the system that uses cash Duh, right all right so you have a set amounts of cash that you put in a different envelopes to save for things that you will need to pay for now or pay for later it's a way to see where your money is going and this system has also been known back in the day so this isn't a brand new system that was just invented it has been known and seen to work so many are starting to utilize the system so there are also some people who have been using the system for forever and they see that it actually works good for them so if it's not broke don't try to fix it okay so next thing we want to do is what would be some reasons to start the cash envelope system some reasons that I have found out that what my reason was was living from paycheck to paycheck it's like you make your money but then you're just like I don't got any money and I got like a week and a half to go so what am I supposed to do um, a lot of the reasons are reasons that a lot of the population have so it's not like it's like you're the only one that that has debt or you're the only one that has you know like student loans or anything like that so don't feel embarrassed about it you know what i'm saying the important thing is to acknowledge and to deal with it and people who don't have debt they still use cash envelopes so like i said you have to pretty much acknowledge it because at first when i first started my um debt journey i was like i don't even i don't know i'm ashamed to put my numbers out there but then after that once i started doing it it makes yourself more accountable so it's like just go ahead and be like hey i got this much this much this much and when you see the amount you're probably gonna be like great day girl what in the world what in the world but you have to be real with yourself okay so some other reasons are if you don't have any savings or emergency funds to fall back on in case of emergency or if you need to build a solid financial future for you and your family and if you want to shock yourself to see how much you can save in a year like I'm like freaking like because I've had time to actually go back and like check everybody's um like savings challenges that they've done for the 2021 and I've been like what I'm like, girl, you save what? And you know what I'm saying? So it's basically like you like it will seriously change your life. All right. So the next question or let's see messages that I get is what if I don't have enough to stuff my cash envelopes? So that is the other topic we're going to talk about. So if you don't have enough to stuff, look, that is a OK. Like I always say, your budget is going to be your budget is going to be different from someone else's because of your lifestyle, where you live, how far you travel to work, um, your family, what size your family is and other factors that you got going on in your life. When I first started, some of my envelopes had five dollars and if some of them had two dollars, some of them had three dollars, some of them had ten dollars. And it's like I was not embarrassed or anything like that, because like I said, starting off that small and then once you see yourself progress girl you're going to inspire a lot of people people gonna be like okay girl i remember when you were stuffing like five two dollars in here and 
you stuff in like what 100 now <laughs> okay so that way you can keep yourself accountable and then also you can inspire other people by you know what i'm saying just showing them that it doesn't take large amounts from the get-go to get where you got to go okay so um like i said the first thing you have to do is pretty much start with the budget that's the that's what i'm suggesting and then also you need to eliminate some things that you don't need like ask yourself do i need all of those channels on my cable do i need them or the internet do i need the highest tier for my internet i don't know maybe if you're doing youtube videos you might need a little higher one so you might have to really look into that one because you don't want to be taking like two weeks to upload your videos or whatever whatnot you got going on okay all right so um maybe think about refinancing something or do you need all those subscriptions do you really need them do you really need them or another one is can you add a side hustle to the mix like I said, you start to get creative when you see all those credit cards, all those loans. You know what I'm saying? you like, I, I got to find something to do. I got to do something. I got to get it done. Okay. All right. So next thing you need to do is you need to pick your categories. Okay. So you want to pick the categories that you want to save for when payday hits and stuff that amount that you plan to add to them. So like I said, don't feel like you have to add a lot of envelopes from the start. You can start off with one. I think I started off with property taxes. And then once I started to get the hang of it, I added a couple more and then I started adding a couple more and then I started doing savings challenges. So, and then I started, and like I said, just make it fun. Start small and build a strong budget plan. So if you have debt, once you pay some down you can add more envelopes or if you add more income like i said for the side hustling which a lot of people are doing like doordash a lot of people are doing etsy a lot of people are i mean some people are doing like TikTok and all this other stuff youtube so it's like you get creative or if you want to get a second job totally up to you whatever you want to do um that's the way that you can maximize on pushing to get more envelopes and to save for more things so once you get the hang of it you can tweak them and also add like i said more to the mix so be sure to add envelopes for your budget and your lifestyle situation that will benefit you and make sense just because someone else is adding for um new diamond ring or for bling bling or whatever don't feel like you have to do the same thing if that's not fitting what you got going on in your life and fancy envelopes can be found all over etsy i'll link some awesome shops in the description box some of them i got some envelopes from budgeting um and beauty i got some from brianna life and budgets i got some from breezy budget shops i mean they have like so many different types of um awesome shops on etsy that you can find a lot of um envelopes on so that is basically i know we didn't have too much to go through but i just want to kind of like just recap real quick this is super quick um just some things that to think about when you're doing the budgeting system um because i know a lot of times we can get mixed up in uh, like watching other videos and like i said there's nothing wrong with that everybody inspires everybody like i said the budgeting community is off the chain like you learn something from everybody from each and everybody you learn something like seriously hands down and everybody is like so freaking helpful so if you feel like this system um, that this person is doing might help you out reach out to that person and be like hey how are you doing this and da, 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 da. and I'm pretty sure they'll be like hey this is such and such and such so everybody is pretty much helpful with that so that is all I have for this video right here so this is just a little teeny like a little snippet of something that I can kind of show you guys um, all right, so if you have not already hopped over to my Instagram page, please make sure to check it out. It's called A Pink Cloth Life. And then also, guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know little buddy is not in this video, but yeah, just give me a thumbs up. All right, it's for little buddy too. All right, all right. So, and then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.